uh, on our previous topic uh, how to create the or customize the wall right now you can uh, use your wall as your uh, envelope for example our sunshade if you want this one of uh, uh, wall to have a design somewhere here a star or somewhere uh, some some design here or make a hole on it so you just click this part and edit profile edit profile you click edit profile and then you can play with the circle but make sure that this two shape are not overlapping since this one overlapping you click ok it will become error because it's overlapping so i'll delete this part so when you go to 3d view uh, check this part check and go to 3d view become like that okay you can play uh, with this uh type of uh, procedure so you can apply it to your design as well so now we will proceed now in our uh, other types of wall which is the curtain wall system okay when you are going to ngl again make sure that you are in ngl to create the floor plans okay go to architecture tab architecture go to architecture go to wall okay wall wall architectural expand this wall basic wall 200 this is the one i created before so it's already loaded here click down drag expand and there are three types okay curtain wall exterior glazing and storefront when i click curtain wall click curtain wall i create one curtain wall the other one is what exterior glazing i click exterior glazing i will create exterior glazing and the other part is storefront and if you go to 3d view the three types are there curtain wall exterior glazing and storefront okay what is the difference between the three is uh, you can observe it this one is a curtain wall is a plain glass panel without a curtain grid this is what you call the vertical curtain grid and this is the horizontal curtain grid so one and two okay so in the curtain wall this is uh, no structural framing no curtain grid okay in the exterior glazing you have curtain grid and the glaze itself okay in the exterior uh, in storefront there is a curtain grid actually inside and there is a frame or a mullion this one mullion curtain grid okay that is the difference between the three i'm i always using this uh, storefront because <coughs> it has already structural frame so i can insert it immediately on my uh, chb walls okay how to create a grid from curtain grid from the exterior uh, from the curtain wall system so all you need to do is go to curtain grid click when you run somewhere around here in horizontal you are creating the vertical grid when you are running around the vertical you are creating the horizontal grid so you can click this part click this part click this part the other one is you can click this part here you can click this part here so you have the curtain grid 
vertical and horizontal now why we need the curtain grid of course we need the curtain grid in order for us to create a mullion because the mullion this the curtain grid is where the mullion will run okay if there is no curtain grid definitely you can run the mullions okay so i click the mullion click the mullion one two three four five six seven eight nine so you have the mullion okay but if i click this part before we are in the properties of the 3d view now if i click this part we are in the properties of the mullion so this is this part is what 150 by 150 mm mullion so if i want to change this one just click and expand there are uh, circular mullion l corner mullion <coughs> quad corner mullion rectangular mullion trapezoidal trapezoid corner mullion and v corner mullion for example i want circular mullion just click it and it will become circular mullion so try to play with this so you can change about that before we click one by one right but we can uh, uh, create the mullion on one time for example I click the mullion for example we have here in exterior glazing type it's already have the mullion uh, curtain grid so all we need to do is to create the mullion if I click the mullion click the mullion so you will notice a grid line meaning to say that all if I click this one all the grid line if i click grid line segment only up to the limited stop from the vertical or horizontal part just like that so that is the grid line segment if i click grid line only i click the whole part see whole but in the grid line segment i click only one i click this one it's up to here only but if I click all grids, click all grids, I click all. So automatically, you created the grid. Okay, so in storefront, it's already here. It's already given here the structural and uh, uh, the, the mullion or the framing are here already, and the glass is here. And you will notice if I I uh, put my or drag my mouse up to here and click the tab tool one tab in your keypad or keyboard click and then you will see the grid that is the grid curtain grid the the hidden line tab. that one the the blue hidden line okay so that is the difference be between the three the number one curtain wall there is no curtain grid there is no mullion in the other hand exterior glazing there is some curtain grid there is a glazing but no mullion but on the third there is curtain grid there is a mullion okay there is a glaze or panel okay so that's it okay uh teacher can we add hole from this part and this part in order for me to have design of course you can if you click this part click and then you are in curtain wall you cl just click edit profile edit profile in order for you to have this kind of wall now it become error because the frame or the mullion running around your circle is deleted so delete it and you can what add from this one escape escape okay just add mullion and that's it you're done so you have this panel you have the design so it's very easy for you to modify everything.